give me one second. Great. And is it okay with you if I record us going through this test? Um, and I'll send it to you after class as an MP3. Is that okay? It's okay. Great. Okay. So this is our pronunciation test. We'll start off by taking a look at some consonant sounds. Okay. And then after that, we'll take a look at some vowel sounds. Okay. Okay. Um, now, as we go through this, I'll have you read a line, then mm. I'll repeat, and mm. then I'll ask you to repeat one more time. Okay? okay. Mm. Uh, whenever you're ready, can you read this first line here for me, starting oh. with worked hard? Oh, worked hard. Played and, cards. Let's keep going. And extremely difficult. Lost and found. While it worked. Extra strength. Okay, you can repeat after me. Worked hard. Worked hard. Played cards. Played cards. Extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Lost and found. Lost and found. Wild world. Wild world. Extra strength. Extra strength. Hmm. I do think some clusters would be good to look at, like, for instance, like world and yeah, strength a little bit. Um, can you read the next line for me? Pushed. Walked. Pulled. Helped. Wanted. Needed. Okay. Pushed. Uh, pushed. Walked. Walked. Pulled. Pulled. Rubbed. Rubbed. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. Needed. Hmm. Maybe a little bit for like times where the ED is a little bit more voiced, like in pulled or in rubbed. Okay. Mm. Pulled. Uh. Rubbed. Mm. How about the next line? Thank. Thin. Thick. With. Both. Author. Okay. Thank. Thank. Thin. Thin. Thick. Thick. With. With. Both. Both. Author. Author. Okay. I would like to take a look at um mm. those THs. Um mm. it sounds to me when you make your TH sounds, how are you making them? I'll give you back uh, your screen a second. <laughs> uh from upper lip and the lower lip I <laughs> and uh my tongue comes out between the teeth. Okay. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> okay. And you, you can make a TH sound doing that. You can make it with your tongue in between your teeth, and that's fine. But I think mm -hmm. one thing that we'll see is that it can make um, linking to other sounds more mm -hmm. difficult mm -hmm. doing that because your tongue's here, and that needs to move here, and then yeah. it needs to move here. So that's a lot of movement really fast. Mm -hmm. um, so what I would recommend is actually – Seeing if you could just make very, very light contact between the uh -huh. tip of your tongue and your top front tooth. So, like, for uh -huh. instance, I'll try to try to show you. Um, you're going to see that my tongue's not really in between my teeth. It's a little bit higher. So, like, if I say, like, uh -huh. I'll try to lower my lip. Like, so, this is not really in between my teeth. It's just making uh -huh. a little bit of contact with the yeah. top. So, like, for instance, can you try saying that for me? Try saying, like, um, thank. Thank. Hold it, hold it really long, like, mm. thank. Thank. Let's try one. Let's just do the TH sound. Can you hold it for like, see if you can hold it for three seconds. Can you do like, mm. okay, and then hold it for three seconds and then say thank again. It's like, thank. Thank. Yeah, already that's just already sounded a little bit smoother. So I would definitely say, hey, that's. Something I would recommend practicing a little wow. bit. Just okay. get more comfortable with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let me share my screen again. All right. Can you read the next line for me? That. Those. This. Father. Clothing. Brother. Okay. That. That. Those. Those. This. This. Father. Father. Clothing. Clothing. Rather. Rather. Okay. Um, I would really say um, 
I'd like to go over those a little bit too. Just get a little bit more control. You get a little mm. bit more th, a little stronger. Th. Mm -hmm. Can you read the next two lines for me? Back. Bug. Peak. Pig. Price. Prize. Rich. Rich. Bed. Bed. God. God. Safe. Said, proof, proved, place, plays. Okay, if you could repeat after me. Back, bag. Back, bag. Pick, pig. Pick, pig. Price, prize. Price, prize. Rich, ridge. Rich, ridge. Bet, bed. Bet, bed. Got God. Got God. Safe, save. Safe, save. Proof, prove. Proof, prove. Place, plays. Place, plays. Hmm. I would say um, voice final sounds. Mm -hmm. I can hear them sometimes being a little bit voice. Sometimes I'm hearing like a z and a v, but it's a little mm -hmm. bit weak. So I want to make them mm -hmm. a little bit stronger. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I right, can read the next line for me. Best, best, very, very, bet, bet, carve, carb, vote, vote. Okay, best, 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 very, 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 vet, bet, vet, bet, curve, curb, curve, curb, vote, vote. Boat, boat. Okay, I can hear the difference there. Uh, mm -hmm. How about our next line? Mm. Uh, vet, wet. Verse, worse. Vow, wow. Vest, west. Okay, vet, wet. Vet, wet. Verse, worse. Verse, worse. Vow, wow. Vow, wow. Vest, west. Best West. Great. That all sound okay. Uh, how about our next line? Mm. Jet yet. Ju you. Jam yam. Major mayor. Juice youth. Okay. Use. Jet yet. Jet yet. Ju you. Ju you. Jam yam. Jam yam. Major mayor. Major mayor. Juice use. Juice use. Okay. That'll sound okay. Oh. Uh, how about our next line? Mm. I'm some. Time from. Sometimes minimum. Okay. I'm. I'm. Some. Some. Time. Time. From. From. Sometimes. Sometimes. Minimum. Minimum. Okay, I think it's okay. How about our next line? Shoes, choose. Share, chair. Wash, watch. Cash, catch. Okay, shoes, choose. Shoes, choose. Share, chair. Share, chair. Wash, watch. Wash, watch. Cash, catch. Cash, catch. Okay, does sound okay? Uh, how about our next line? Uh, school, Spanish, study. I study Spanish in school. Mm -hmm. School. School. Spanish. Spanish. Study. Study. I study Spanish in school. I study Spanish in school. Okay, I like those. Uh, uh, how about our next line? Uh, pour, for. Pop, puff. Cups, cuffs, flight, flight. Pour four. Pour four. Pup, puff. Pup, puff. Cups, cuffs. Cups, cuffs. Flight, flight. Flight, flight. Okay, I like this. Uh, how about our next one? Choo, zoo. Budging, buzzing. Range, rains. Okay, 
Ju zu. Ju zu. Budging buzzing. Budging buzzing. Range rains. Range rains. Sometimes I think we can make our Z a little stronger. Yeah. Z. Okay. And how about this last line here? <laughs> Tile, tire, file, fire, flame, frame, glass, grass, ball, ball. Okay. Tile, tire. Tile, tire. File, fire. File, fire. Flame, frame. Flame, frame. Glass, grass. Glass, grass. Ball, bore. Ball, bore. Okay. I can hear the difference between them fine. Um, there are some things I would like to do just to make the sounds a little stronger. Okay. Uh, questions for me about any consonant sounds so far. Ah, mm, uh, this uh, this th sound, uh -huh. tongue, and the t th that the mm -hmm. position of the tongue is the same. Or tongue position is exactly the same. Ah. Um, so, looking at um th sounds, the only difference between like a th sound mm. and a th sound mm. is your throat is going to oh. vibrate for like that mm. and those, yeah. mm. but for like thank and thin, mm. your throat does mm. not vibrate. That's oh. pretty much the only difference. The rest of the mouth position is identical. I see. Oh, thank you. Yep. Um, other questions here? Uh, other question is that the uh, this mm -hmm. Sound <laughs> very similar in Japanese, so mm. I don't mm. know very <laughs> much about the difference. Is so and so you mentioned like the j sound and the z sound sound similar in Japanese. A ch sound and a j sound is pretty much the same mouth position. It's just again kind of like what we saw with the ths. Mm. Like a ch sound is voiceless, but the j sound is voiced. Mm. So you're just vibrating your throat. Okay. Mm. Um, Whereas for the S and the Z, again, it's the same mouth position, but the S sound is voiceless and the Z sound is voiced. Um, so what I would say is that, um, let me give you back your screen a moment, one second. So one thing is like when you're making that, like uh, that S sound, S, S, you can use the tip of your tongue and press it up against the top of your mouth, right around where your tooth and your gum make contact. So press your tongue there like S, S. And um, you can also do that again for the Z sound if you make it uh, vibrate. It's like Z. Can you try doing that for me? Z. Okay, sorry. Z. Z. What I would say is um, it could be that you're pressing too hard. If you press a little bit more lightly, can you do more Z? And how long can you hold it for? Can you do like Z? Sound a little bit better. Um, so mm. I, I would experiment. I would try pressing really hard, mm. and then I would also try pressing really lightly to see which mm. way you can get it to sound more natural. Because my uh. guess is that you're either pressing too hard or mm. you're not pressing hard enough. Uh. It's probably one or the other. My guess is that you may be pressing too hard because you're like I really see. focused on it. Mm. Um, so instead mm. of doing like zzz, mm. it's more zzz, oh. zzz. air should always be able to move through. If you're blocking the air entirely, you're pressing too hard. Oh, okay. I see. Mm. Um, and then for like the, uh, here we have like the j sound, j, mm. j. Um, yeah. Something that can be helpful is instead of using the tip of your tongue, mm. like right there, try mm. to use a little bit behind it. Use more like the front of your tongue, like oh. kind of like around there to make that contact, like j, j, j. Yeah. Already, that's not a little bit better. Well, yeah. One one thing I can make that easier too is the very tip of your tongue. You can mm. press it against the back of your bottom front tooth. So mm. then the middle of your tongue has to make contacts like mm. ja, ja, ja. Uh huh. So let's try just switching it from those really quick. Can you do like z, ja, z, ja. Okay. So I do want you to continue practicing, especially that z yeah. sound. <laughs> but the difference was much clearer there. I could really hear the difference between that j oh. and the z sound more. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Um, other questions for me about anything? Let me get oh. back to see. Questions. 
Ah, and the R and L, uh, L and R, the tongue position is uh -huh. quite very different, but I'm not very sure. So, yeah, so we can talk about that. Um, let's see. I mean, L's are tricky because I mean, we could spend you know hours just talking about them. But some some quick things. Let's, let's start with the L. Um, can you say like luck for me? Luck. Luck. Okay. Can you say um, life? Life. Oh, life. Okay. Can you say those together? Can you say luck? Life. Luck. Life. Okay. So how are you when you're making that L sound? Where is the tip of your tongue? Uh, the back of the upper teeth. Great, yeah. And that's, you know, for those else, that's, that's, that's where you want it to be. So th those are sounding pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. um, let's try a different word now. Can you say, mm -hmm. um, can you say, uh, can you say sell? Sell. Can you say sell again? Sell. Sell. Okay, where's the tip of your tongue on that? Sell. When you say the L. Uh, sell. Doesn't touch any. <laughs> just in the middle. Okay, so that's so that's interesting, right? So this is called a dark L, and this uh -huh. typically occurs when an L is at the end of a word. Okay, mm -hmm. so when the L usually is at the end of a word, you don't make that l sound. Mm -hmm. Instead, you kind of do the opposite. You lower mm -hmm. the front of your tongue and you raise mm -hmm. the back of your tongue. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing like a l sound, you get almost mm -hmm. like this all sound. All. Oh. So oh. like sell, sell. sell. Oh, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't actually want to make contact. So it sounds like mm -hmm. you're doing what you need to do there, which is great. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so again, that's going to be really common at the end of words. Oh. Usually when a word ends on an L, it's not making that L sound. It's making more of an O sound. Okay. Oh, oh thank you. Um, let's talk now about, or before I do that, do you have questions for me about the L sound? Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> for the R sound, uh, can you say... Uh, can you say row? Row. Mm -hmm. Can you hold that R even longer? Row. Row. Okay. I think that sounds pretty good. Uh, can you say R for me? R. R. Can you say row R? Row R. Can you say it one more time for me? Mm. Row R. Row R. Okay, to me, your R and R sounds a little bit different than your R and R. Mm -hmm. um, when, in theory, these should be more identical. Mm -hmm. okay, so I know you can make an R sound, because I think when you're saying R, it sounds pretty good. Um, so, what we can do for that, can you say R, 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 R. Can you repeat R. that like three times for me? R, R. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so it sounds to me like um like R R R R. It sounds to me like a lot of your R sounds are coming from like around this area. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, you can tell me if it feels like it's coming from higher or lower. You can let me know. But it sounds to me like it's coming from like around here. Um, can you say R again for me? R R R. Okay, so you're staying really around here. Have you ever heard of placement before? Placement. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of placement before? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. So placement basically means where are you sending the sound from? Okay. Hey. Different languages have different placements. Mm. Japanese's placement is mm. really high. Oh. Like a lot of your sounds are coming from around here. To give you an example, um, can you say can you say e for me? E. Uh, e. Okay. E. So I'm here. E. 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 Uh. e. I'm way up here. If I do it long enough, I can mm. feel my head vibrate, my teeth vibrate, my jaw like, ee. Can you hold it for like four seconds for me? Like, ee. Okay. Do you, f I'm not sure. Again, if you're not used to placement, it's a hard question to ask, but I want you to really focus on where you're feeling that from. Because my guess okay. is you're going to feel it kind of in your head. Mm. Versus, I'll, I'll be honest. The most immediate way, like if you're like, how can I sound more natural in American English? Like it would, if that's the question, the, the biggest answer I can tell you is keep it low and open your throat. It's two oh. things coming from down here 
mm-hmm. and let as much air through your throat as possible. So like instead of saying like e, it's mm-hmm. more in American English, it's more e e. Oh. Can you hear a difference between e mm-hmm. and e? Oh, very different. Okay, mm-hmm. that's the biggest difference, honestly. Oh. Like, if you're able to just pronounce every sound from down here, you'll automatically sound more natural in American English. <laughs> it's easier said than done because it's a completely new way of talking. But um, honestly, that's the biggest thing for American yeah. English is trying to get it low. Um, mm-hmm. So to go back to your R sound, your R sound is coming from up here. Mm-hmm. I think that you may have the right mouth position, but your placement's too high. So you're getting like this R. Versus R, oh. R, R. Yeah, already that's already sounding a lot more natural. <laughs> okay, so some things you can do to practice are exercise where like just say the sound high and then try to lower it. Like R, R, R. Okay, so I did hear it go down. I would say make it even longer, like <laughs> Okay, we can hear it going down. Great, great, great. Can you feel that moving down? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but there's two things. It's not just low. It also needs to be more open. Right uh-huh. now, your throat's very closed off. You're blocking a lot of air. A lot of air. You're doing like mm-hmm. But we need more err. want oh. way more open, as much air as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's already a little bit better okay um, um, so one thing you can do to try to practice that is again that exercise where you're just like uh, uh, mm-hmm. just to kind of get the placement get used to that mm-hmm. and another exercise you can do uh for instance if we're working on a word like r you can do mm-hmm. like er r er r er r and there's kind of switching between them to kind mm-hmm. of see um, mm. where is the trouble coming from? Is it coming from just the R or is it coming when we add other sounds to it? And it's coming mm. Okay. Questions on that? Mm. Ah, no more questions. Please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's try saying some of those words, um, with a lower placement with those R sounds. Okay. Mm. So like, for instance, I want you to, we're going to do, we're going to do this. I'm going to say the R sound and I'm going to say the word. Okay, mm-hmm. and we're gonna lower the placement for both. Okay, mm-hmm. and then I want you to repeat after me. Okay, yeah. it's like er tire er tire. Could you do that again for me? Er tire. Yeah, already that er sound sounds a little bit better. Uh-huh. Um, I do want you to keep practicing it, you know, because I do think it's something that we can make a little mm-hmm. sharper. But that's kind of mm-hmm. the general idea. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. Um, let's just, I know we're running up against time. I do have to run to my next class, but we didn't get to the vowel sounds today, but I think we still gave you lots of things to yeah, take a look at. Um, <laughs> for TH sounds, uh, for R sounds, for L sounds, for CHO sounds and JO sounds especially. Yeah. Um, Yuki, did you have other questions for me about anything? Uh, no more questions. Thank you. All clear. No. <laughs> yes, okay, so I'm, I'm going to send you. Prefer, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm going to send you the pronunciation test, the part that we did. I'm also going to send you an MP3 of the notes, and I'm also going to send you a video um, that I have um, that kind of goes over some of these sounds. Um, Mm -hmm. Actually, for the channel, the next video that I'm actually sending out today is actually all about L and R sounds. Um, So if you're looking for more practice, uh, that (laughs) could be helpful. Other last questions or things for me before I head out? So far, no questions. Thank you so much for great. today. Okay, Yuki, it was great to meet you. Best wishes yeah. with the channel. Okay, stay in touch. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. See you next time. Hey, take care. Bye. Bye.